What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beatdown, and I am back with more Marvel Avengers Alliance. Last time we finished up Mission 5 of Chapter 1 Season 2, which had us take the Black Knight against Selene, the Black Queen, and get the Philosopher's Stone. Now apparently there's some trouble back in New York. Is it New York? I think it's New York. Yeah, it's New York. And the Sanctum Sanctorium is under attack, and we need Gambit. Good thing we have him. Since this is already level 300, I'm going to go with normal mode. Okay, Team Excalibur is mopping up the last of the Hellfire Club assets in London. We headed back to New York to deal with AIM. They infiltrated the Commando Force into the Sanctum Sectorium. Strange, how about you tell the rest? Eliminating the Vaders was a matter of little exertion. More ominous is Modok's interest in occult wisdom. He sent his ill-fated invaders to recover specific ancient manuscripts referring to cuneiform tablets I do not possess. Aim forces are also massing around the Museum of Natural History, which does possess those tablets. Modoc must have been researching in London. I must repair the damage done to the Sanctum Sextorium and seal the breach Modoc found in its defenses. While he's doing that, we're going to guard the museum and analyze the tablets to find out what AIM is after. There's some off-kilter about AIM mustering up this kind of magical muscle. Technocrats shouldn't embrace the occult. This offend you? I'm a traditionalist in some ways. AIM's overstepped its bounds here. They need to know that. Alrighty. Yay, shield points. Anyways, we're gonna need some energy. Boom! Full energy. Alright, team. We should be brought in for this one. Yo, I didn't get a chance to use him last time. Shatterstar. And who else? Uh, I'm at Sabretooth. No, 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 not Sabretooth. Let's use Moonstone. Been a while. I don't often get that chance to use, like, lockbox heroes sometimes, especially for, like, older chapters, because they may not have been released at the time, and, you know, how it goes. Alright, way to go, Shatterstar. Already dodging the first attack like a boss. Not so well on that one. Anyways... Oh, this is an actual attack. Okay. <laughs> it's deep gravity syndrome. It's exhausted and... Ah, oh, fuck. Right, Big Bang requires just one whole turn. I always forget that. Anyways, this ought to help next turn for gravity well. Well, providing I get it off. I don't even think it matters what I do. All right, Shatterstar, break the rest. Break the targets! <laughs> Way to go, you left one alive. <laughs> and that's all I needed. So please, do come at me. Alright, he gets an extra turn for gladiatorial combat. Gladiatorial carnage, whatever. Cute. Welcome to Moonstone's Big Bang Attack! Haha, <laughs> it's funny because I made a Dragon Ball Z reference. Laugh! Anyways, Nitro. This whole operation has a self-destruct button. Let's get him deactivated before he can set it off. Alons. Okay. Sounds weirder without that Y. Yeah. I'm here to defuse the situation. Fat chance, Red Eye. Things are about to blow. Aim gets what Aim wants sooner or later. What'd you call me? Red Eye. I'm like a coffee drink to you. 
I think you might have made me mad, mon ami. I'm slowly trying to perfect Gambit. It's not working, but I can try. Anyways. Let's get another scrapper in here to help clean up this. I'm personally thinking Sabertooth. That growl wasn't necessary, but I thought it was, and it was fun, so... Yeah. This is what I do. It's what I do. Do it. I can damage more of his team than he did mine. Uh, it's, okay, he has 8-card stud on him. I couldn't remember if I put that empowered back on him or not. Alright, no more you. Berserker! Brutal Slash. And Claw Swipe. Just to finish it all off. Now, thank you. Please come again. <laughs> You're gonna regret doing that one. Really? You sh really looking for a death sentence there? I mean, if you want the death sentence, I'll give it to you. Fuck, I didn't mean to hit party time. I, well. Whatever. Kill him. Wait a minute. Blood rage. Let's see. Yeah, blood lust. Shaking claws. Okay, yeah, kill him. Thank you, come again. Nitro's down and out, and doubtless re doubtless repentant of his villainy. We can certainly hope so. Thank you, Gambit. We'll take it from here. Ooh, shiny deploys. Gambit's potential energy powers have triggered some strange readings in instruments aboard the helicarrier. Could have something to do with ISO-8, but we won't know until someone gets the results to Beast. Eh, why not Avalanche? Great, the Scarlet Witch is our... <clears throat> our best asset when it comes to understanding the workings of Chaos. Where Magic and Science meet Team Excalibur is suggesting there's something she should see in London. Wanda, we'd like you to head to London just real quick. Excalibur has found some stuff in one of the Hellfire Club hideouts they think you should see. Why me? It's apparently something to do with chaos. That's all they said. And that you were the best person to understand it. We're okay, Raggy. I guess. I don't know. What do you want? I'm working with nothing. Rogue. Nico. Because, fuck it. I don't know. <laughs> a hundred... A hundred... Actually, 99 characters to pick from. Yeah. <laughs> I should just do a thing where I start working my way backwards. Alright, Nico. Let's sacrifice. And rock and roll. Running with the devil. I don't know what that had to do with anything. For some reason, I thought she was the devil or something. I don't know. I honestly don't know why I thought that. All right. All righty. Who's next? Oh. You. Yep, you're already dead. You just don't know it yet. 
Well, unless Nico misses. Thank you, Nico, for failing me. Rogue, kill him. Thank you, Rogue. Like some of my other warriors, you never fail me. Okay, you fail me quite a bit, but that's irrelevant. I just wanted a chance to say the Transformers line. All right, so, so what was it? They found some interesting material, as if a very powerful magician had been trying to create something like ISO-8, but not cosmic in origin. You have it with you? Should we be concerned? No, it had all evaporated before I got there. There are occult lines of research happening that should concern us. Believe me, they do. Yay, shredders. Bye-bye. Wow, has it really only been 11 minutes? It does not feel that long. Actually, it feels much longer. Well, since we got her back, might as well use her. Along with, oh, I don't know, Rocket. Because, I mean, why not? Rocket. Also, I finally have him up to level 9, so that'll be fun. Let's see, one shot. And everyone is in pain. Psychic Amplifier to prepare. And then Scarlet Witch or me will probably kill someone. Probably both. Yay, more ISO-8 I don't need. Well, this will be fun. Kaplowy. Well, that didn't have enough weapon or special effects in it. Most over-the-top sprite attack ever. Alright, Scarlet Witch, if you would, kill one or both of them. And Rocket, kill the other. Thank you, my favorite trigger happy raccoon. Alright. Gavin has been tracking the aim forces patterns and they center here. Guess who else we found? The Grey Gargoyle. We're headed over we've overheard him talking about Clan Akaba. We had him penciled as one of Aim Stooges. Looks like we were right, but Clan Akaba? Red Herring? If AIM thinks Clan Akba has anything to do with the incursions, or the Circle of Eight, they're wrong. Maybe we should let them go down this rabbit hole. Maybe so, but we're going to control how we do it, and we're not going to let them wreck the museum. Gambit, get him talking. Ah, come on, Chef. Chef? Chef. Ah, fuck it. Let's pick up Avalanche, and... Probably end it right here. Or actually, you know what? You know what? Let's let's do the heroic mission first. Oh, this is gonna suck for me. <laughs> the UFOs are protecting a base built into the location underneath Central Park. Cable and Deadpool were arguing about the best caliber of ammunition for a weapon that hasn't even been invented yet. And what and happened to run across them. Dear reader, guess what happened next? Too much aim activity around here. Seems like we ought to keep aim out of the park. Know what I mean? <laughs> I think your problem is all like 
is this... I think your problem is this is all like work to you. Lighten up! We get to kill people! Zillions and zillions of people! Utterly without consequences. Because we're make-believe! How freaking awesome is that?! Cyborg and the nut who thinks he's a in a comic book. Shield is scraping the bottom of the barrel now. Tell me about it. Okay, Cyborg and Crazy Man. You think you had problems with AIM before? They're about to get worse. She threatened me! She called me crazy! Ah, I think I'm in love! Of course you do. Alright. Ugh, let's do this! Settle in for massive antics. Okay, beat the shit out of Deadpool, I don't fucking care. You know, factor thingy, free candy. <laughs> bang, bang! Dab, 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 bang, bang. He apparently leveled up. Alright. I'm about to blow you away. Or miss pathetically well nice knowing you dead or not all oh, right the healing factor thingy right 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 forgot all about that <laughs> All right, Cable, now kill him. Thank you, Cable. <laughs> Redesign encounter. Okay, Deadpool, whatever. Get shot. I don't even fucking care, because I didn't cause I dodged that attack. Temporal Paradox! Boo! And Deadpool's gonna tank it all. Okay, he's immune to burning, radiation, energy, all that fun stuff. Anyways. So, let's see. Protects friends and lovers. Which means he won't be protecting X-Ray. Fuck, I didn't use the other attack first. God damn it. I'm an idiot. Temporal Paradox. Yeah. God damn it, Wade. I'm glad to see everyone dodged except for me. <laughs> Well, at least Deadpool's doing okay, I suppose. Anyways, this is what I meant to do. Temporal shift. Now, switch over to my psychic abilities. Now, since he's in Corporal, I can't hit him with any other regular attack. Good thing psychic, cow <laughs> psychic can go through that. And next, I'm obviously going to have to go through Deadpool to get to Vapor. Luckily, she's almost dead, so I don't have much to worry about that. And they got radiated by, or at least she did, by X-Ray, so she's constantly getting radiation and is dead. Kill. Cool. Alright, Deadpool. I'm going to possibly enjoy this far more than I ever should. <laughs> Alright. I have the Temporal Paradox for Cable. What's the other one? Spicy Empowered. Life Pool. Hmm. Wouldn't mind. 
I'll take that too. <laughs> I was wrong. That wasn't love. Just a passing in infatuation. True love only happens in fairy tales. And this is a comic book, not a fairy tale. Thought <laughs> you said it was a video game. Whatever, what's the difference? I also said you should lighten up, but here you are, still all serious and gravely responsible. Man, I get sick of that. <laughs> Can anybody have any fun around here? Fury, there are a number of items your research teams might find interesting here. Coulson in particular. Yeah. <laughs> Roger that, Cable. Thanks for the heads up. <laughs> Coulson, you're alive! Don't you want revenge on Loki? I sure would. Uh references. Anyways, that'll be it for now, so until next time guys, I'll catch you all later.